we now discuss the solution of a problem from the section integral calculus the problem is to find the area bounded by the given curves this question has appeared in the joint entrance examination main held on 26th june 2022 in the first shift the given question is the area bounded by the curve y is equal to mod of x square minus 9 and the line y is equal to 3 is we are given four options required to find the area bounded by this curve y is equal to modulus x square minus 9 and the line y is equal to 3 from the given four options that is the given question we now discuss the solution of the problem in detail we have the curve y is equal to modulus of x square minus 9 and we will remove this modulus appropriately that is in the interval minus infinity to minus 3 it is a semi closed interval closed at minus 3 and union 3 to infinity closed at 3 and in these two in intervals x square minus 9 is greater than or equal to 0 therefore for every x belonging to the union of these two intervals it is modulus of x square minus 9 is x square minus 9 when x belongs to the open interval minus in minus 3 to 3 x square minus 9 is negative the mod of x square minus 9 is minus of x square minus 9 that is 9 minus x square so that is the given function and uh, we first see the familiar curve y is equal to x square minus 9 we know that it is a a parabola open upwards and uh, the vertex at uh, 0 comma vertex here the vertex is here so x square Minus nine. This is the curve x square minus nine. I am not talking about modulus. Just x square minus nine, opening upwards, opening upwards. So now we show you the graph of this curve, modulus of x square minus nine. This is this one. That is for up to minus three and three to infinity. It is the same curve x square minus nine. For x belongs to the open interval minus three to three, it is nine minus x square. This is uh, the parabola opening downwards, opening at downwards. So that is the that is this is the curve. This is the curve. Now the area bounded by the curve y is equal to mod of x square minus nine, and the line y is equal to three. This is the line y is equal to three. Is the shaded region what we have shown in the figure the shaded region is this this one this one and this one so let's see see so this this one and this and uh, this one so that is the shaded region and uh, the area we are supposed to find agree we continue in the next slide we have that curve given curve and uh, we want to integrate by horizontal strips to get the area of the given curve and to integrate by horizontal strips you have to express x in terms of y so y is equal to x square minus 9 express into x in terms of y that will imply x is equal to under the square root of y plus 9 
y is equal to 9 minus x square that will imply x is equal to under the square root of 9 minus y. y to get the area we integrate by horizontal strips for that the integral x dy you have to use so we have derived you know the appropriate formula x in terms of y. Agreed. Now the area bounded by the curve in the line y is equal to 3 in the shaded region is this one. This is the curve. Now the curve is here x is equal to under the square root of y plus 9. This is also under x is equal to under the square root of y plus 9. And this curve is x is equal to root of 9 minus y. Shade the region. So this is shaded. And uh, these portions are also shaded. Now what we observe is that this curve is symmetrical about y axis. So we observe that the curve is symmetrical about y axis. So we want to calculate the area bounded by the curve that above curve and the line y is equal to 3 is equal to 2 times in brackets a plus b. So that means uh, if you take this plus this curve and multiply by 2 you get the whole area. So that means uh, we take out these two things and we name it as a, name it as b, a plus b multiplied by 2 times you will cover these two, these two areas also. So what is a then? a is this, b is this. So where a is the area bounded by x is equal to under the square root of 9 minus y on the right, this is the right curve. And x is equal to 0, that is y axis on the left. And to be integrated, y is equal to 3 to y is equal to 9. That's the a. b is the area bounded by the curve x is equal to under the square root of y plus 9 on the right. And on the left, x is equal to root of 9 minus y. And to be integrated, y is equal to 0 to y is equal to 3. Then you will get b. Then you will get b. So now expressing a and b in terms of the integrals now. a is equal to the integral y is equal to 3 to y is equal to 9 of the function x dy square root of 9 minus y minus x is equal to 0 into dy. That is A. B is integral 0 to 3 root of y plus 9 minus the left curve minus the right curve that is under the square root of 9 minus y. So that is the A and B in terms of the integrals. We will show you in the next slide the integration part. We have that. That's the figure what we have, where a is uh, the integral, b is the integral. We will now take a, a is equal to integral 3 to 9 of square root of 9 minus y dy. Now the integration, 9 minus y to the power of half plus 1 by half plus 1, that is 3 by 2, 3 by 2, and 9 minus y when, when differentiated, you will get a minus outside to be evaluated between 3 to 9. Agreed. 1 by 3 by 2 is minus 2 by 3 into, for the upper limit, 9 minus 9, 0. For the lower limit, 9 minus 3, 6. 6 to the power of 3 by 2, 6 to the power of 3 by 2 is 6 root 6. And simplify minus into minus plus 2 by 3 into 6 root 6. That is the contribution of A. B integral 0 to 3 under the square root of y plus 9 minus under the square root of 9 minus y dy. That is equal to integration is 
9 plus y to the power of 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 minus minus is this minus and under the square root of 9 minus y we have already seen the integration part that is minus 1 into 9 minus y to the power of 3 by 2 by 3 by 2. So 1 by 3 by 2, 1 by 3 by 2 that is 2 by 3 will come out and uh, this is evaluated 0 to 3. So for the upper limit 9 plus y, 9 plus 3, 12, 12 to the power of 3 by 2 is 12 root 2 minus for the lower limit 9 plus 0 that is 9 to the power of 3 by 2 that is we have written 9 to the power of 3 by 2 agreed minus into minus plus for the upper limit 9 minus 3 6 6 root 6 for the lower limit minus 9 minus 0 that is 9 to the power of 3 by 2 9 to the power of 3 by 2 9 to the power of 3 by 2 is 27 minus 27 minus 27 minus 54 we have written here plus 6 root 6 6 root 6 now this 12 root 12 we have written this under the square root of 12 2 root 3 2 root 3 multiplied by 12 that is 24 root 3 2 by 3 is common throughout now that is equal to the area bounded by the curve and the line y is equal to 3 is 2 times a plus b 2 times in a 2 by 3 is there in b 2 by 3 is there 2 by 3 is common for a 6 root 6 for b 24 root 3 minus 54 plus 6 plus 6 root 6 agreed 2 into 2 4 by 3 into 4 by 3 into this is 6 root 6 plus 6 root 6 12 root 6 plus 24 root 3 minus 54. So in brackets what we see in brackets what we see is a 6 common a 6 common. So if you take out 6 common 4 into 6 by 3 that is 8 into when 4 is when 6 is taken out when 6 is taken out for 24 root 3 you will have 4 root 3 for 12 root 6 you have 2 root 6 for minus 54 you have minus 9 so 6 is taken out 4 by 3 into 6 that is 8 into this one now let's look at our options and we find none of these answers tally with our answer So, we do not find the correct option in the given answers. Now, to save the question, we will revise these options and we wrote down that our answer is close to D except for in the given options there is a root 6 but in our case it is 2 root 6. I hope that there is a, a typographical error in this D, we revise. We revise only for the purpose of this video. In the revision, the D option, we have put our answer that is 8 times 4 root 3 plus 2 root 6 minus 9. So the answer to this question, according to the revised options what we have given is option D and uh, that is the detailed discussion of the solution of the problem on the area bounded by the curves from the integral calculus. I am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem. I wish you all the best. Thank you.